Data from Oil Field Service Company, Baker Hughes on Friday revealed that the number of active U.S. rigs drilling for oil rose by 21 to 652 rigs this week. The oil rig count has climbed every week this year so far, except for one. That is the highest rig count seen since the week of October 2, 2015 when the total U.S. oil and gas rig count was 809. The total active U.S. rig count, which includes oil and natural gas rigs, also jumped higher by 20 to 809, according to Baker Hughes. The total active rig count for Canada, decreased by 91 to end the week at 185 rigs. The Canada active rig count has declined over the last three weeks. Between the states, Texas continued to gain most, with an overall 404 oil and gas rigs, an increase of 8 rigs over previous week. Other states with a positive rig count growth are Oklahoma and New Mexico with 7 and 3 rigs respectively. Permian, Canna Woodford, Eagle Fort and Marcellus Basins gained rig counts, with Permian adding 7 rigs, followed by 2 each in the other basins. In Canada, the number of rigs drilling for oil decreased by nearly half over the week. The oil rig count decreased by 79 to bring the total of oil rigs to 70. The number of gas rigs decreased slightly by to bring the total to 114 for the week's report. Crude oil headed for its third weekly loss in a month as OPEC and its market allies prepared to meet for a review of their production cuts, while swelling U.S. inventories indicated the measures aren't working yet. Futures rose 0.1% in New York, for a weekly loss of 2.1%. U.S. crude output continued to expand along with inventories last week, data from the government showed on Wednesday. While OPEC won't formally decide until May whether to prolong a production cut deal aimed at easing a global glut, officials will meet this weekend in Kuwait to discuss its progress. For continued updates, follow us on Twitter at OilWire News or on Facebook, Google Plus or LinkedIn. Good weekend to you all and see you with more news next week. Stay safe.